the second annual Aaron Williams Lone Star Showcase featuring not only Aaron Williams but a lot of his former teammates at the University of Texas as they give their two cents worth to players from all over the state of Texas. In fact, parents right now getting some recruiting tips from Randy Rogers himself. Let's go to some of the highlights of the day. Basically, when I go to camp, the first thing I look at is body time. I'm going to wander position by position to say, all right, who looks like a Division I player? Okay, now I'm going to get those numbers down. Now I'm going to come back once they get in the drills and watch them to see if their movement, their ball skills, and whatever the position, because every position you have to evaluate a little bit differently. A lot of people don't understand that three-fourths of the colleges in America that play football are not Division I schools. So 75% of the kids are not going to play at Texas or A&M or Baylor. They're, they're going to go to Abilene Christian or they're going to go to Mary Hard Baylor or something like that, and that's okay. Because as long as they get an education and get off the family payroll at the end of four or five years, that's a good thing. I saw Randy Rogers talking to the parents about recruiting. How important is that for a parent to hear that? It's huge. Uh, from somebody who used Randy Rogers during Aaron's recruiting, uh, parents need to educate themselves about the recruiting process. Uh, I always tell kids when I talk across the country, you only get recruited once and you don't want to miss the opportunity because you didn't do your research or your due diligence. So Randy is a great resource, as we both know. Uh, he was able to talk to them and equip them with information to make sure that they maximize it for their son, whether they're going to be D1, D2, or D3. He loves giving back and he brings a lot of energy, obviously, to these kids. And when they, when the kids see Aaron bouncing around and high five and chest bumping, it becomes, uh, you know, contagious. So I'm really proud of what he's doing out here. I'm sure he picks your brain a little bit about the camps as well, right? Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, he knows that I do all the heavy lifting and at the end of the day, the kids want to hear from him. Uh, he's, he's heard from me already, but uh, hearing from somebody like him who's gone through that transition being in Texas, from Round Rock into Texas and on to the pros, uh, his insight and knowledge is going to be really valuable to these kids here today. Does your dad kind of help you out with these camps? He's, he's the main reason why I do this. He does a lot in the community with the All-American game uh, and, and doing a lot of camps for FBU and everything. So just giving the kids opportunities to get some kind of look. You know, a lot, not a lot of kids know how to get exposure, and it's one of these it's, it's camps like these that come out here and, and just gives scouts a, a, a second view of what they can do. So uh, thanks to him, it, it does great. Uh, I just love giving back. Like I said, I think about it, you know, if I was a high school football player, like I said, if I got a chance to, you know, be with NFL guys and, like I said, successful guys in my position, like I said, I would love to do it. So anytime I get to come back and give back to guys, like I said, I'll do it. Where'd you get those glasses, man? Man, I found these at the flea market. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to tell these guys out here who are who are working out? What do you want them to get out of the camp? Ah, man, just uh, to pick our brains for anything they want to learn. You know, remain humble in all that they do. All the guys that I hang with, these two guys, man, most the most humility out of anybody that I know. You know, and uh, they they showed me the ropes. They brought me up. They taught me everything that I know. So, you know, it's our turn to spill it, spill it out onto the court and to these guys and. Uh, you know, just show them, you know, what got us to where we are, where we are today. Speed kills though, right? Speed kills. What, what's the difference between having that kind of speed? How can that, how can that make you an NFL player? Oh man, that's the difference in me ending up in the hospital <laughs> from being one step too slow, getting hit by somebody like Keenan Robinson or Alex Okafor. Uh, but, um, you know, it makes a lot of the difference. I'm not a big guy, so I gotta, you know, I'm fast and I can catch, and you know, that's my advantage over people. This is a lot of fun, Aaron Williams uh, Combine, and we've done this before. We have some great NFL players out here coaching it, uh, have great talent, great athletes, and some really good guys running it. It's a lot of fun to see the, the talented players. And what are some of the things y'all are working with these kids about? You know, we're letting NFL guys give them some, some hints and, and help them on some footwork and things, and uh, we're just trying to see how they match up against each other. It was a good experience. Got better today learned a lot from these coaches work on my job work on my delivery um, reading defenses just really touching up on stuff finessing just keep on working on the basics just getting better with everything more crisp more clean a lot of fun hard work and uh, learned a lot I was at linebacker and learned to uh, don't cross my feet keep them balanced and just stay low learned a lot that our coaches at my high school can't teach us they're gonna give them a little bitty finer points on things to get better at and so something that maybe their high school coach wouldn't have known how to get the ball out in front and uh, actually lead the receivers a little bit more and uh, judgment on my throws. Um, getting the ball a little bit deeper downfield and uh, my timing has gotten a lot better. I had a lot of fun. I mean, this is a great camp and uh, probably the best one I've been to all year. What do you tell the guys out here trying to keep them from, you know, from getting an injury or how to handle an injury if you do indeed have one? I tell them it's impossible not to have an injury in football. Uh, <laughs> like we said in there in the classroom that you sign up to get hurt. And, uh, you're trying to entertain these people to put your body in harm. So 
nothing you can do. You just gotta tough it out, uh, take care of your body as much as you can, and, and just go with it. Uh, I didn't know starting out in high school and, and college that you know doing neck exercises can can really prevent a lot of neck injuries and doing a lot of foot exercises and calves and all, just little things. Not always working in you know the curls and the bench and trying to look bigger for everybody else. You gotta really maintain and, and keep your body up performance. You coached over at Round Rock High, so you know Aaron, uh, what he could do at the, on the football field. What was your thoughts about him as a player? Right, he was. you had to know where he was at at all times. You know, great great player, great character, and, and uh, you know, he was he was really fun to watch and, and bad to play against. Incredible athlete. Got to play both sides of the football, Was uh, played quarterback, played receiver, played defensive back. Uh, he and his dad, uh, his dad and I are good friends, and so anything to help out Aaron, and he comes out here and puts on this camp for free for these kids, and so uh, just to be out here and be around kids who enjoy football and to see what he's doing, it's just a fun little thing to do. Roughly 130 players getting a chance to showcase their skills here at the Aaron Williams Lone Star Camp. In fact, it was a good opportunity for not only the players to get to know these former University of Texas players, but also the ones who are playing at the NFL level as well. Next big step will be the seven-on-seven -seven state tournament in College Station, and then before you know it, Fall camps open up in August. Here at Cedar Ridge High School, I'm Jeff Power for Max Prep Sports, your leader in online high school sports content.